Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For the ones who know me and for the ones who don't, I am Lake Uthaya and I recently came back home after attending a very prestigious pageant which you all might have heard of called Femina Miss India. I was the state winner of Punjab, so I have the title Femina Miss India Punjab 2022 with me for this year and probably forever. So Femina Miss India 2022 concluded on the 3rd of July 2022 and I had asked all of you a question on my Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go right now and do it. Um, I asked you a question as to what you wanted to know about my journey because there are so many DMs of so many girls wanting to know so many things and I just thought that if I could compile it in a Q&A format, I might be able to give you a solution to it. I thought that I would break these questions down and make a series so that I can answer and help as many of you as possible for people who have been dreaming for this since childhood and for people who are super excited to know if they can be a part of it. Uh, I think that the coming videos along with this one will help clear a lot of your doubts and help you make an informed decision. As you can see from the title below, I'm going to be discussing about the expenses, the financial management and what you will be expecting to spend on once you go into the platform such as Femina Miss India or Miss Diva or any national level pageant which is held at such a massive scale and gives you a lot of publicity. The first and foremost thing which takes a lot of your money is your pageant training institute. Now I will probably make another video if you'd like about why pageant training institutes are helpful if you are trying to apply for a pageant but these cost a lot. I trained in Coco Berry and I was in the online batch because that time it was still in the middle of Covid uh, where, the surge, where the cases were pretty high. Uh, so I had to pay like half of their price because a lot of the things that we would be getting on a physical platform we weren't but I made the most of it and uh, that didn't cost me as much but then right now any pageant training institute you go to may it be Tiara, may it be Coco Berry, um, so on and so forth it will cost you. Next we're going to start top to bottom. I'm going to start with hair. Now hair of course will cost you if you want to take up a certain service, if you want to do a keratin treatment or if you want to do any Botox of sorts or if you want to do an Olaplex and of course the products that you have to follow through the at home, uh, the at home products that you have to take with you will also cost you like thousands of bucks. Along with that you also have to have hair equipment because um, I don't know if you all know this but we style our own hair uh, and our makeup for majority of the pageant for a lot of sub contests and a lot of regular sponsor events and sponsor shoots etc it's only during the main events such as um, award nights or finale uh, that we have our uh, makeup done makeup and hair done so yeah you will have to probably buy your hair straightener your hair curler your hair dryer along with those brushes of different sorts and rollers of kind um, heat protection spray all of that so that's what you will be spending on your hair um, and of course spas that you will have to uh, go through will also cost you next is your skin uh, it goes without saying that your skin is very important. You have to treat it before you enter the pageant. And in general, it's always nice to have a healthy, glowy skin. Uh, but especially for the pageant, you will have to invest in a dermat. Um, if there are any procedures that you have to go through, like I had to go through uh, certain comedone extractions of sorts. So that will cost you uh, certain products that they recommend. If there are any medicines that are being recommended, if you struggle with acne, then uh, your treatment will be you know more frequent and will require more sittings as such also if you have to do a laser treatment uh, that will cost you again that requires around five to six sittings if you're doing a full body laser the third is your nails 
Now, nails, of course, form a very important part, especially in pageants. You need to have well manicured nails. Uh, most of the girls, actually all of them, uh, have nail extensions that are stuck on their nails uh, because even though it's well manicured, nails tend to break uh, at times if you're putting on your heel or if you're putting on your earring and if it's, there's a broken nail, it's very difficult to mend that and it hurts. And you can't afford those things when you're in the busy schedule of a pageant. So um, your nails, uh, French tips, I think those are uh, suggested and accepted. Um, pedicure, manicure, that will cost. Next is your teeth. Your smile, of course, is very important. You're mostly smiling in a pageant. You're, you know, looking as welcoming as possible. Um, so if you have issues with your alignment, if you have issues with um, gaps or any cosmetic procedure that you have to go through for your dental hygiene or your dental um, setup you have to go to a dentist I did go for teeth whitening and I did go to fill like a few fillings here and there so teeth whitening is damn expensive but it's just something else that you will have to add onto your expenses list next is makeup uh, we all know what makeup is and everything uh, will have to be bought uh, by you unless you have a beauty partner on board who will give you like Sephora was our beauty partner this year and uh, they gave us uh, an entire box of makeup but um, we were not sure of how much of it would be used on like a daily basis so we had to buy our own makeup. Your makeup is also required uh, before the pageant because this time we had a two month pageant and we started the first whole month was uh, meetings virtual meetings and virtual master classes and digital content which we had to create for which you need to have makeup on so everything from your base to your uh, colors your lips and your eyes and everything has to be bought by yourself and if you do know it involves a lot and it is an expense that you will have to bear um, of course, you have options between drugstore makeup and high-end makeup, depends on your budget. My makeup was completely drugstore and I think it worked out. Um, but you should know what to buy and there's a lot of trial and error that you will be doing before you find the right thing. So that is a certain expense you will have to set aside. Next, and actually the most important and the most cumbersome is your wardrobe. I think this is something that everybody uh, who is into pageants kind of knows that wardrobe is a huge investment which you have to do and um, it starts with your basic dresses, bodycon dresses because they're always trying to make sure that your body is highlighted so none of the frilly clothes. Um, bodycon dresses as much as possible and then they ask for cords and they ask for uh, smart formals a few um, blazer dresses and a few pant and suits there are gowns you which you'll have to invest in because there are certain um, events where you will have to wear your own gown i mean minus the finale and the sub contest night uh, any other event that you're required of you'll have to like wear your own gown and gowns are expensive and your accessories which includes basic your earrings and everything for your wrist and watches and your belts and your bags all of that will cost you and I know I've said all of this but then it just gets a lot more overwhelming because you have to get it right you can't just get anything and you have to you know take care of the color palettes and everything and whew, yeah wardrobe uh, setting is quite a task and quite expensive uh, so you have to have like a huge budget set aside for that alone and then of course no pageant is complete without heels and we require four very basic heels your black stilettos your nude stilettos your silver and your golden stilettos um, and these also come with certain specifications like the front or the platform cannot be more than one inch. Uh, you cannot have those mountain wale heels. Of course, they're comfortable, but they want your feet to look as delicate as possible. Uh, and of course, no block heels. You need to have them pointed. Um, you need to have just two straps on. You cannot have a lot of uh, those Chinese laundry kind of heels. So yeah, even if you have certain heels that might be appropriate for one different pageant, especially for 
Miss India, Miss Diva pageants, you require a certain set of stilettos and you might require two of them also because I broke mine while I was in the pageant. I was halfway through and those were the most beautiful nude heels and then I had to buy new ones. So, I mean, if you are willing to, it's always nice to have two pairs of basic heels, which are very expensive, by the way. Of course, everybody talks about Steve Madden and uh, the ones that cost like 12K, but you can also manage with something 3K, 3.5K. Um, yeah, if you want more details, I'll make another video on it specifically because heels are like quite a task to find the right one. Next is your travel. Uh, travel this time had to be done by us, uh, not just for the auditions. Uh, when we went to Mumbai and there were like a collective 15, 20 of us auditioning for the same state which was shortlisted down and then called for. But also when after you get selected as a state winner, you again have to uh, go back to Bombay and the flight tickets and your luggage oh my god because you're carrying a lot of add-ons in your flight if you're traveling by flight uh, it will cost you and it will cost you almost as much as the flight ticket or maybe even more because I mean that's just a lot of things that you're going to be putting on the flight and then this is a this is something which you will have to do before the pageant which is your gym uh, if you are uh, enrolling in a gym then you know maybe a personal trainer or maybe your dietitian all of them also these are services that you'll have to pay for even if you're working out at home and your strength training then the equipments you buy and stuff will also have to be paid for. and finally there are miscellaneous expenses which i have put this category as which includes your doctor uh, services if you have any issues going on uh, which you need uh, to be taken care of uh, for example i had gut issues which I had to um, you know like get rid of quickly so I had to um, pay for that and um, a lot of personality development things like books I paid for a lot of books because I, I wanted to read a lot of them for a holistic um, personality and if you are someone who's already enrolled in dance classes or if you're someone you know who just does something else great I actually did pay for dance classes but I was not doing that for Miss India but it's always nice to have something to say. Uh, I used to say that I'm a certified contemporary dancer and my contemporary dance class which I had attended for almost six months had cost me like a good 50,000 so that was an expense if you want to add it on to it. Um, yeah because the talent is appreciated in places like this because it's a performative space in general so if you have something to perform um, it's always appreciated. Also, because we're in the digital age currently, we also have to make sure that our phones are nice. Um, you know, good laptop, good phone. Uh, I had to buy myself an iPhone, not for the pageant, but um, the intention was for it because I knew that uh, a lot of the content that is gonna come through you. Uh, and also before the pageant, when you are posting stuff online, um, when your content is being asked for to put on the Miss India page, uh, when you are uh, in the pageant and then you are documenting it and putting it up on your feed because there are a lot of eyes on you. You just want good quality. And yeah, finally, I think if you have great pictures, if you're a model from beforehand, great. But if you are not, you, you might have to pay the photographers because you have to put in certain pictures, which is your close up, your mid shot and your full length in the audition um, form. Uh, and I did it through collaborations because I was kind of already uh, having a few requests from certain photographers who I had worked with before just for fun but it worked out for me. So I didn't have to pay but then yes, if you are starting off you will mostly have to pay the photographers as well for the editing and everything. Oof, that is it. That <laughs> pretty much covers all the expenses that you will incur during this journey. And I don't just mean Femina Miss India, but other pageants also uh, might not require a wardrobe with this extent because the duration of pageants is short. Uh, but everything else uh, will have to be done in order for you to become a standout. You have to be able to spend this much. And the reason that I made this as the first video, despite all the other queries that I had, was because I think before you enter into Miss India or you audition for it, you have to know if you are going to be able to bear the expenses. I managed it because I had 
cash with me. I had savings. Uh, and also because I'm old enough, I'm 24, but the girls who are 19, 20 and are not, not working are in college. It's going to be the expense which is borne by your parents. So make sure that, you know, it's possible, like talk to them about it. Because only once you clear out the financial aspect of it, can you really go ahead and dwell into it even deeper rather than doing everything else and then really realizing, damn, I can't afford it. You know, what's the point? So I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you a quick idea. If there are any other videos that you want me to make out of the video that you watched, comment below. But going ahead, I will be answering a few more questions in detail in the form of YouTube videos. If you like this video, if you found this helpful, please like, comment that you found this helpful and please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.